The output transformer for me is probably the second most important component on a tube radio. So checking that it works is important for me. Um, and it sometimes actually determines whether it's worth going ahead rest restoring the radio or not. The reason is that a power transformer, that thing over there, you can actually get away with it uh, if it's blown because all you're trying to do really when you're replacing it is um, getting an alternative source of a voltage which you generally know, probably around 200, 220, 230 volts. However, the output transformer is a different story. The output transformer's impedance um, has got to do with the uh, turns ratio. Uh, the power has to do with the turns ratio as well. And the turns ratio, and therefore the impedance, has got to do with how this uh, circuit is designed with a particular output tube, uh, the biasing of the output tube, so the speaker you're going to use, and so on and so forth. So it's a little bit uh, critical that this guy is working. So the best way to see if it works is to use a signal generator connected up uh, with the signal generator to the primary and the rest of the circuit with a speaker in line usually is in the radio already so you leave that as is and you just listen for a tone. Let me show you on the schematic what I'm talking about. A very typical arrangement for the connection of the output transformer is the one you see here. We have the output transformer here, that side is the primary, that side is the secondary, the secondary feeds a speaker and then one connection is usually to ground and the other goes on a feedback loop. But what we're interested in is this line here that comes to the speaker. So we have a, a connection to the speaker on one side and on the other side we have a link up where one side of the primary, one connection of the primary, goes to the anode of the output tube in this case an EL84, and the other side, if you follow that up there, goes to the first filter capacitor, therefore it goes to the output of the selenium rectifier. So if we want to put a signal into the primary of this transformer, it's quite easy. So we take a signal which we feed, one side has to be fed to here, and the other side has to be fed to there. And if we do that, we're actually putting a signal across the primary, and we should get a signal across the secondary. The signal across the secondary, if this is all in circuit with the speaker, you'll actually hear it as a tone. And you start that fairly low. I usually start it at about uh, 1 volt RMS and see if you can hear it. If you don't, you up that a bit. Now, to avoid this signal here being corrupted or being drained or loaded any el uh, elsewhere, other than the uh, primary of the, second of the output transformer, um, you disconnect, you just take out that uh, tube. It also provides an easy way to find this point. The most difficult part of this is usually where to inject the signal. So if you've got this tube out, you go to that pin, the anode, you put one side of your signal generator to the anode, the other side you connect to this side, which would be, if you follow that line, it will be the plus, the B plus. So you find your point on your selenium rectifier, for example, or actually on the first filter cap, and you can connect that to there, so you connect it across there and there, and listen to the tone. So here we have it, one kilohertz tone, for example, you can make it low if you wish. Um, I set it to one volt RMS, and that signal then goes to the radio. We connect this into the radio with one point to the positive of the uh, selenium rectifier. Make sure the radio is off, no power. And the other one, the other point of the signal goes to the anode of the EL84 tube, which is actually pin 7. EL84 is here, so we go from the top counterclockwise, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we can hear it. 
If I increase the amplitude of the signal generator, 3 volts, 4 volts, 5 volts, drop it, increase it, we've got a perfect signal. That just tells us that our output transformer is working fine. It actually tells us a little bit more. It tells us that this part of the output transformer is fine from there to there because we injected the signal into the anode of the tube or the socket connector for the anode of the tube. It tells us that this connection is in place because the other side of the signal was actually at the plus output of the selenium rectifier. It also tells us that obviously the secondary is fine and that the connection to the speaker is fine. So we've actually got a bit more coloring done. That's just another snippet, another one of the building blocks that I'd like to publish uh, for radio restorations. The idea is to make the restoration process a lot more fluid so that I don't explain all this. Uh, a lot of this, most of this is known by the people who watch the restorations, so I don't want to bore them. And the ones who don't know will have a very handy reference guide section um, to look up a few tips on how to do certain things and get used to doing these things in a fluid and uh, easy way. And of course, a very safe way. Right, thanks for watching.